Now, question five. I did a really terrible thing once. I feel very, 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 very guilty about it. God could have just maybe not do it. Why did he let me? Yeah, and this goes back to the point around condemnation. You know, God has not created us as robots. God has created the planets as robots. They go around the sun in perfect harmony. They don't sin. No planet says, oh, I'm going to go do a terrible thing today, and I'm going to crash into Earth. I'm Mars. I'm going to do a terrible thing today, and I'm going to crash into Earth. No, they don't. But yet, those planets don't have the opportunity to be sons and daughters of God. God gave us a free will, and we choose to exercise it. And sometimes we choose to exercise that poorly in sin. Here's the beautiful message. Like I said in John 8, verse 11, you did a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. It can't be more terrible than the ones who killed Jesus. There was a brother of Jesus who called James who completely despised him and rejected him. There was an apostle named Paul who stoned people and killed people who were supporting Jesus. Anything you did can't be much worse than that, even if it's a falling into sexual sin. These are people who really did the worst of the worst. And Paul calls himself the chief of sinners. And yet God redeemed both of those people, Jesus' own brother, James, and Paul. And that's the beautiful message, is if you run back to God in repentance, he will say, I do not condemn you. I'm not going to remember this terrible, terrible, terrible thing that you did that you remember. I'm choosing not to remember it. And I'm encouraging you not to remember it. And from now on, we will deal with it. Because I have donated my blood to you. Because I have given you a heart transplant with a new heart. We will pretend that, not pretend, we will treat it like it never happened. It's gone, not pretended. It's completely gone. You have a new heart. You have a new blood. Who, who cares if there was polluted blood in there once upon a time? The Lord has given you, donated his blood for you. He's given you a fresh heart. Who cares if you had a polluted heart once upon a time. He's given you a heart transplant and a new heart. Um, that's the message of redemption. Young brother, young sister, who have asked this question, the greater sin that will get you, like I said, is the one that keeps you down, that condemns you. It's not that the more terrible thing you can do that is more terrible than the thing you're talking about is letting Satan condemn you and discourage you. That is far, far more terrible, far more terrible than the terrible thing you did. So if you see that as far, far more terrible, run back to God and say, Lord, I truly believe what I heard today. You do not condemn me. You've given me a new heart. You've given me new blood. You've made me a new creation. You will remember it no more. So I will remember it no more. Amen.